Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I'm doing a quick review on this solar panel power bank. So this is a six, nine or 12 volt output. It actually has a 4,000 milliamp hour lithium battery. It says it is IP65 waterproof and it comes with three different types of connection cables. So really should go with pretty much any type of trail camera. So we'll go ahead and open this up. So I think this is from a company called Van Bar. I've bought a couple of their trail cameras. I've done a review on their trail cameras as well. I would hook it up with their trail camera, but it's actually already out of the property. So not gonna do that, but looks like it comes with a customer service card. You can get a three year warranty if you activate it. So that's that thing. You've got a little user manual and I'll turn it around for you, but it's got this solar bank I mean, it's got a little weight to it. It's not super heavy, but you know, it does have a battery in there too, so in the solar panel. Um, it's got a compass on the top, which is actually pretty cool. It'll help you make sure you line it up uh, with where the sun's gonna be. And then here's your three different types of cable connections. And it does come with your little typical tree mount that you'll see your trail cameras come with. It also looks like it's got a strap mount as well so we will just set some of this to the side so I'm gonna dive through this real quick see if there's anything I need to look out for so it does look like it has two mount options for the screw with the bracket there's one directly on the back one directly here on the bottom in the middle it looks like it has a way you can actually just charge the panel yourself if you wanted to um, it looks like it has a mini USB connection uh, which they're calling a passive 5 volt input and then it has a 12 volt input if you want to charge it that way. It does look like it's got some LED lights here so you can see how charged up it is as well. And then you probably can't tell but there's actually three different outputs here. There's a uh, the 6, 9, and 12 volt output so you need to make sure you put the correct one on there for the camera that you're using. Under this bigger tab where you have the 5 volt and 12 volt, there's actually a button in here that's your power button. So you can click that to turn it on. If you press and hold for three seconds, that'll turn it off. All that it shows now is your status indicator. If you go plug it in and charge it up, obviously it'll start showing more. It says when the battery is less than 10%, that status indicator will actually uh, start flashing at you. And then it says two lights will be on if it's between 30 and 70% and all three lights will be on if it's over 70% charged. So right now I'm showing one light so I'm actually under 30% charged. Actually it looks like we've got four different cables here. That one's a charging cable and then these are just different cables into uh, your trail camera. So it should really fit probably any trail camera you have. Not a lot to this really. Um, most of this is just talking about mounting it and stuff. So I'm going to actually power it down. We can go uh, leave it outside for a little bit. Charge it up. I will hook it up to a trail camera and show you all that that works as well. But I'm actually pretty excited for this thing because the property is four hours away from me. I just got an update that two of my uh, solar or two of my trail cameras are already about to die and they take 12 batteries. So if this thing can actually work and charge those and keep them pretty well charged where I don't have to replace batteries every year, for 50 to $60 seems like a pretty good deal. So now I'm gonna take this outside, get it charged up in the sun, hook it up to a trail camera and see how it works. And I'm gonna be setting up the solar panel with this Cam Park trail camera. It does have batteries in it. Um, I may test the solar panel because it has its own battery without batteries in here but the battery life on this right now is showing I think about 5% so 10% 5% so we'll set up at the solar panel outside and see what it looks like I just tried to set it up roughly on the tree here we've got the van bar solar panel set up here like I said you've got the compass up top if you look under here it's hard to see but it's uh looks like it's got about two lights on so it's charged up to between 30 and 70. it's actually kind of nice here you see the outputs it's labeled everything so i'm 
wanting a six volt output for this camera. And as you can tell, it's saying it's 100% full. So I'm gonna leave this uh, set up here, set some pictures off and see if we can keep it at 100% and see how it does for about a week or so. And I'll give y'all my final review on it. So I was having issues with it charging. They recommended actually taking the batteries out and then for the solar panel, they actually said to charge it fully before you hook it up because it takes about 20 plus hours in the sun to fully charge. But they said, you know, it'll, it'll stay 100%. It just takes two to three hours to charge what you lose in a day, basically. So really they were saying you need to charge the panel to the full battery and then plug it in and it should work. So I've had it out here now since I fully charged it for about a week. So we'll take a look and see how it's working. So it still says it's a uh, 100%, so that's pretty good. All in all, I actually think this will work pretty well. I'm gonna go out to the property this weekend and test it out uh, out of the property where I'll be able to take a lot more pictures and we'll see how that goes. I will put a link in the description for this solar panel and let me know if you all have any questions. Their customer support has been great, so if you have any questions, you can also reach out to them. Hope you all enjoyed this video and see you all next week.